Hey guys, it's me G, and this is me with my first trail reaction video. Um, I just picked one at random for myself to have a quick look at to get the ball rolling uh, on this uh, segment of the channel. And I've decided to go with the new Tom Hanks movie, which will hit theatres this October. Uh, that being entitled Inferno. It stars Tom Hanks and Felicity Jones. Um, this is the third movie in the Ron Howard directed uh Robert Langdon Trilogy, which of course are the novels by the author Dan Brown uh, of the same name. Uh, now I know these films have got their, both their supporters and their detractors, whereby, you know, uh, well, let's be fair, the first two movies quite frankly pissed off the Catholic Church. Um, despite the fact that you know, it's quite obviously researched and it's a bit of fiction thrown in there as well, as well as history, but it pissed them off nevertheless. Uh, you know, but so hopefully this one, um, but having nothing to do with bloodlines or the clergy or a, a pope dying at the beginning of the movie, or the main antagonist of the movie being a Carolango within the Vatican, uh, hopefully this one will sit well with the folks over there uh, in the Vatican City. Um, as I say, this is the fourth novel uh, with regards to these books. Um, they skipped book number three. Um, I told them you had to be in the £27.50 club. Ah, uh, no, no. Um, really, I, seriously, guys, I have no idea why they don't do that movie. Um, it's got bugger out of day with the Illuminati. <laughs> I should know. Um, so, yeah, hopefully they'll get around to doing that one day, Ron Howard, Tom Hanks and the gang. But let's take a quick look at this here, and we'll see uh, what happens. And I'll let you know how I feel about this one, in terms of how it is as a trailer and how it promotes the upcoming movie come October. Here we go. It appears you're out of options. Tell me about the threat known as Inferno. Well, that's an option that I never saw come. Professor Langdon, we need your help. Three days ago, a man killed himself. We think it was part of something much bigger. There was a package in his pocket. And what was it? It's Dante's Inferno. Dante defined our modern conception of hell 700 years ago. But these circles of hell have been rearranged. <clears throat> Why Dante? Why this map of hell? Dante. Dante's death mask. Yes. We've got to get to Florence. What if we differentiated Dante? I need access to the Dante mask. The Dante mask is no longer here. It was stolen. Here's the security footage. Professor, that looks like you. Amnesia foot. I have no memory of taking that mask. You did? I just saw you. I want to know what I'm involved with. Why was someone shooting at you? Everything is out of focus. Hmm. Professor, you are having visions, aren't you? The people behind this would do anything to protect the truth. You have no idea what they're capable of. This is what I have been seeing. Look, look, look. This is not in the original painting. Here's another one. Prophecy. Oh, my God. Dante's Inferno isn't fiction. It's a prophecy. Someone created a plague. Our population is spiraling out of control. Inferno is the cure. They're going to wipe out half the world's population unless we find this virus. They left a trail. You'll be able to trust your own thoughts for a while. Human lives are at stake. If a plague exists, you know what governments will do to get it. The professor has become a liability. Go, go, let's get it. Yeah, yeah. There's always a way out. It's nice to have you back, professor. If this plague is real... Then we only have 48 hours to stop an extinction-level event. I will do everything I can to find it. Time minutes again. Time minutes. Alright, well, <clears throat> there you go, guys. That was the trailer for Inferno. Um, it's basically, you know, Ron Howard is back directing. <clears throat> and you get Tom Hanks... Uh, alongside uh, Felicity Jones this time. It'll be interesting to see how her character uh, measures up to the previous two uh, leading ladies uh, by, her, by his side uh, in this series. As I say, 
you know, the main issue with that film series is, is if you've seen one, you've seen them all. Professor of Symbology gets mystery to deal with, has a leading lady by his side, and he's got, you know, a couple of days to solve the mystery and read the symbols before the threat uh, wipes out humanity. Basic formula, and they follow the same formula through three of the movies, you know, but that trailer, that gets me excited. I mean, I, I enjoyed the first two. Um, I'll, I hope at the very least it'll be as good as the first two of this one. It will certainly be a lot better than the book for me. I mean, the book was the weakest of the four uh, for me. Not that, it's, not that it's necessarily a bad book, it just seemed rushed in places. So hopefully his, uh, his fifth out, that being Dan Brown, will be a lot better uh, when it comes to uh, Robert Langdon. So yeah, um, as I say, there's some stuff in there that's got me interested, obviously. You get the usual martyr at the beginning where somebody dies and that kickstarts the whole um, the whole escapade. So it'll be interesting to see what connects the dots together within this movie as opposed to the Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. So yeah, Ron Howard's back, Tom How Tom Hanks is back, and Tom Hanks very rarely gets back to characters, um, you know, more than twice. I think along with Woody at Toy Story, this is probably only other instance where he's been back to a character for a trilogy or more so he must really enjoy playing this part um, I knew there was some debate that when it was originally cast back in 2005 to take the role that readers of the novel were like what the hell Tom Hanks how's he gonna pull this off he's near he's near Robert Langdon but he's pulled it off masterfully and you know if you're a follower of these books and the movies you know the novel will be better the movie will be better but what the hell I'm looking forward to this movie and you know, roll on October. This was initially meant to be released back in December, guys. But when they saw that motherfucking juggernaut known as The Force Awakens, the studio and Sony went, Oh, shit. We're pushing this son of a bitch back. Even if it is by almost a year. So, yeah. October 28th is the new release date for this movie. Um, I can only assume they assume with Halloween weekend on the horizon that week that a bunch of people dressed up and pissed at their face when they go and see a movie about a uh, professor of Scientology and symbolism and help him, you know, thwart another plague and world threat. So again, th these movies are for everybody, folks, but what the hell, I enjoy them and I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, guys, please keep your suggestions coming. Um, this has been an, uh, a, a wee bit of fun doing the, this first video in the trailer series for my, my channel. I've already had a a suggestion for Craig Johnson to, to tackle the ill-fated and much maligned female Ghostbusters 2016 trailer. I might be doing that at the weekend just for shits and giggles if I'm bored. But I get, uh, anyway, guys, if you if you guys have got a trailer you want me to have a look at, be it old, new, good, bad, and different TV movie, uh, I love Lucy season 22. I don't care. Give me your suggestions via social media or hit me up my channel and I'll give it a look. This has been G. It's been a pleasure to see you and I'll see you next time for the next trailer reaction. Peace.